Hello, Facebook friends. Hello. Hello, Facebook friends. Hello. I'm feeling real silly, so let's start the show. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Show. Show, show, show. But now we're going to go. It's day 290 today. Welcome to day 290. Thank you for joining me back on um, uh, the, this this uh, site because the Tazzy Reads one, um, I can't get it to share the videos. So what we will do is we'll just keep going on here until I figure out um what's a better way to do it Say hi. yeah miss christie's here say hi miss christie miss christie and i were playing bingo with uh wee beast and justin on the phone and leslie his mom correct on the phone on the phone we did not get to yell bingo though i could have yelled bingo a whole bunch of times but i didn't have bingo i got down to four yeah, i got down I mean, to four i only needed four and justin only needed four as well yeah, we yeah. could have yelled it all we wanted. It just yeah. would have been meaningless. Yeah. There was a farmer, had a dog, and nothing because we didn't have bingo. How come a farmer gets a dog and he names it and I can't have a dog? You have to think about things, Miss Christie. Well, you see, a farmer is tied to his farm. Yeah, not the really tied. They, he's his not farm tied every to his farm. single day. He's not tied to his farm. And he's doing stuff outside. No, they all go outside every, every day. single yeah, day. Well, if I had a dog, I'd the go outside. The weather has to be incredibly horrible for a farmer yes, to not go but outside. but that's what I'm saying is that we could go outside with the dog. With the dog. You want me to go outside more often anyway, so I could take the dog for a walk. Plus, I like Chinese food. And what that's I made it. I'm just in the middle. I'm. I you. like Chinese food, and that's made it a walk as well. So then, if we went outside, making Chinese food outside, I'd be a walk with a walk. That's what I'm saying. That's dangerous. And listening to maybe Christopher Walken. So it'd be Walken with the Walken, walking the dog. Don't walk while you're walking. You can walk while you you're walking. You can listen to Christopher walking while you're walking. You can but walk, don't him. walk while you're what walking. What if I was listening to the Bangles and I was walking on sunshine? Can you listen to the Bangles at the same time as you're listening to Christopher Walken? What if Christopher Walken was singing with the Bangles? It'd be walking, walking on sunshine while walking and walking the dog. And I might fall and go down a hill, and that would be walking, walking, walk and roll. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, nice. That's not bad, eh? <laughs> You're, you, you, had, you almost had a witch sounding laugh there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you and your little dog too. And there's why we should have a dog. So you can get me and my little dog too. Except for I'd have a big dog. Nope. I'll let you think about it. Nope. I, you should think about no. it. It's if we had a dog, we wouldn't need um, to paint the house ever. It's science, Chris. That's not science. That's science. That is not science. That's science. No. Yes, it is. No. Yeah. No. You have to look up it stuff needs before to be you peer reviewed. It does not have to be peer reviewed. You yes, just have to. You would. just have to. No, seriously, listen. What you have to do is just. It's science. You need to do some research. I need to hear your hypothesis and how you experimented okay, and your my conclusions. Hy my hypotenuse and my confusions have nothing to do with facts. I can give you my hypotenuse <laughs> as well. Whenever you walk by a potnoose, what do you say? Hi, potnoose. So that's awesome. And my confusions are often. So there's your hypotenuse and your confusion. She's not going to get me. Science. Not so science. anyway, you don't know. Yes, I do. It's science. It's science. It's science fiction. It's not. Yes, it is fiction. It's no, I not said even science. science I said adjacent. science. It's science friction. <laughs> when you and I. Okay, so need a puppy for the experiment. There you go. Now oh, we have to have a puppy for the experiment. We have to show. Here's your hypotenuse. Is right here, or whatever kind of moose it is. I don't know if it's a that kind of a moose or not uh, there's a connection between having a dog and never painting the house what's the connection <laughs> okay their tails look pa like paintbrushes so what you do is you put paint on their tails and then you walk around with them with them being backwards with their bum towards the house and they go like this and they paint the house 
and you do that as they grow and then the whole house gets painted for the top part birds science okay let's uh, read a couple books here <laughs> let's read this book <laughs> not science Uh, this is a story. You know, we should probably let's read this book first because this one seems like it's a lot longer. Yeah, we'll read this oh, book that first. That one's got a lot of words. Tattoo. Yeah, I, I saw that. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's why I think we'll we'll read this book, and if we get through it, then we can find another smaller book to read. Like maybe it's nice having them here, but I'm. Uh... <laughs> we could read this book. There we go. Ah, that's a gooder. That's one we haven't read before. No. No, nope, oh. that's a different one. Okay. Okay, so we'll read this book. <laughs> this book was lent to us by uh, Shailene and um, Les Robertson. Robinson. Robinson. Robertson. Robinson. And this is called uh, uh, Freddy's Problem. <laughs> and it's on the back it says, Freddy the Frog was a mess. Due to his impulsiveness, will he learn his lesson well? Only time will tell. So this book was written by... Rhea Ostrove, and it's illustrated by Jason Dahl. Oh, guys. That guy's a doll. And it's by Peanut Butter Press. Oh, I'm hungry. Peanut Butter Press. <laughs> it's, uh, and this was uh, Peanut Butter Press. Sorry, I said that already. Uh, 2009. So here we go reading a book. It just so happened that one splendid summer day... Did you some words? Nope. Are you sure? I just said that. Yes, I did. So I read that already. Oh, okay. Thanks. Well, thanks for checking up on me, though. You missed some words, too. Dog. I did. Puppy. No. It just so happened that one splendid... Yep. No. One, sp one splendid summer... I'm trying to read. You can't keep saying no. It's messing me up. <laughs> no. Rose is watching. And so we have to behave because Rose is watching. I just so hap... It just... Whatever. Let's start again. Close the book, open the book. It just so happened that one splendid summer day, Freddy found himself in quite a predicament. He'd eaten too many flies. A hundred of them, actually. Uh, and all in the matter of a few minutes, silly frog. He'd always had a, such a sensible... He was always... Oh my gosh. These glasses don't read very well. Let's try these ones. Oh yeah, these are my reading glasses. Let's try again. It just so happened that one splendid summer day, Freddy found himself in quite a predicament. He'd eaten too many flies, a hundred of them actually, and all in the matter of a few minutes. Silly frog. He'd always been such a sensible tadpole, never eating too much algae or too many plants. But now that Freddy was a frog, he couldn't wait to eat flies. He ate them for breakfast, he ate them for lunch, he ate them for supper, he snacked on them whenever he could. He absolutely loved those yummy, yummy flies. Freddy discovered that eating a hundred of them was a very foolish thing to do. Oh, moaned poor Freddy. I feel dreadful. He looks like he would feel dreadful. That's a full tummy. He does have a full tummy. I already told you that he would feel dreadful. Toad is a frog joke. Maybe if his tummy's sore, he should rub it, rub it, rub it. <laughs> he should rub his tummy. Use the joke all the time when I'm... Da -da -de -do -do. <laughs> he didn't look good either. His spotted belly was bloated and heavy, and he, had, he was enormously uncomfortable. He couldn't leap from lily pad to lily pad without landing on his bulging belly, and it hurt. Every time he tried to lay down, he rocked back and forth and side to side, and all that motion made him very dizzy. Even seeing another fly caused him to feel downright sick. And that had him worried. Because frogs love to eat flies. I like this picture. <laughs> Blomp! <laughs> but that, what annoyed Freddy the most, was the sloshing and gurgling and the horrible battling going on in his tummy. An army of gas bubbles was arriving and driving him crazy. Freddy had a real problem. Did you want to? 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 Did you want
It really looks uncomfortable. It does look uncomfortable. It looks like me once. <laughs> look at the little. What is that little? Is that a fly? There's a fly listening to his tummy. Can you see that? <laughs> Johnny? Is that, are you uh, in there? Uh, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> Buzz off! All day long, he sat on the same lily pad watching the other frogs playing their favorite leaping game. The more fun they were having, the more miserable Freddy became. Day turned to night, and night turned into another glorious day, which was more than he had said could be said for Freddy's mood. This is ridiculous, he muttered to himself. I can't sit on this lily pad, feeling sorry for myself forever. It was true. Of course, because the lily pad was slowly sinking from all his added weight. Freddy was becoming desperate. He had to get help. <laughs> Look at Freddy's like, uh, maybe I need a couple of lily pads here or something. <laughs> He looks like he's in one of those. Yeah, um, I was just thinking, you know, you know the, he looks like he's in <laughs> little a little kiddie little kitty pool. <laughs> Miss I Christ hope it doesn't rain. Miss, Miss Christie doesn't know cats don't have pools. Little kitty pool. That was just a little kitty in for you. <laughs> I got that. Okay, meow back to the story? Correct. <laughs> it's a perfect story, and puns will be coming left and right. All right, let's get it out. Groan. You're my calico host. <laughs> but then he caught a glimpse of his delightful friend, Fiona, swirling near the surface of the water. What a fish. Besides being beautiful, she always had an answer for everything. Freddy figured he could just ask her for suggestions. With a grunt and a groan, he plopped into the pool and slowly made his way over to her. After catching his breath, he joined her underwater. Fiona, I'm a terrible mess, Freddy said glumly. Fiona stopped swirling and asked him what was wrong. Freddy described how he, horrible the gas bubbles were giving him. I can't seem to get rid of him, he sighed. Can you help me? Groan. Oh, yes, is on. Hello, Taz and Christy. We have the whole Kirby family watching today. Yaz, Albert, Barb, Grandma, and Grandpa, too. Well, hello, Kirby family. How are you? Yaz, I hope you're being an awesome host. I don't I don't think she can be not awesome. I think that's she's just awesome. awesome. She's one of the awesomest. We're just there. We're just, and we're reading the book about the frog. Yeah, I don't know how long you've been there. Uh, Froggy ate too many flies, and now he's like, oh, I feel too... Kind of like after, if we order too much Chinese food on the same way, I eat so many flies because I eat so fast the flies are flying right <laughs> in my mouth. They do. Well, being a fish and not a frog, Fiona had to give the matter some thought. Then her mouth formed a perfect O. Oh, it's hard to form a Q. You'd be like, uh, O, oh, or the Q be like, O, oh, uh, a Q like that. That's a Q. And fluttered her tail. Listen carefully, Freddy. When I take in oxygen from water, it gets all mixed up in my body, and sometimes I can blow out bubbles, she explained patiently. Well, what you need to do is take in the biggest breath you can, and then maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to blow out those bothersome gas bubbles. Hi, ah, yes. Hey, yes. Hi, Justin. Bet you thought I was going to say yes. Puppy. No puppy. We already discussed this. Don't remember that. My brain only remembers short things. Like, ah, who are you? Get out of my house. With this advice, and a swoosh of her fins, she swam away. That seems like a good idea, thought Freddy. I'll try it. Freddy was so eager to follow Fiona's instructions that he completely forgot he was still underwater. Being a frog and not a fish, Freddy opened his mouth and wound up swallowing a gigantic amount of water instead of taking a mouthful of air. <laughs> Look at all the stuff that he's... Can you see this? I'll start from this side. He's taking in a big breath. He's like... There you go. Somebody's... 
Louis it, Keys. It, it looks like a, a worm on a hook and a crawdaddy and a, a crawfish and then some other kind of fish, a half an apple, and somebody's, looks like those are uh, Ford Keys. <laughs> and the, <laughs> look, you see the fly right there? Those keys are not going to feel good in there. Nope. I mean, none of it will, but. No. Never. Down, down, down went Freddy as he sank to the bottom of the pond. Coughing and sputtering, he fought his way back to the surface. Much to Freddy's dismay, his stomach still gurgled with those nasty gas bubbles, all pushed and pressed. Oh, this isn't good, he said. Freddy was about to climb back onto his lily pad to brood with his buddy, Durwood, paddled by. The duck appeared to be distracted, probably because he's a duck. He was an expert paddler and would soon be out of sight. Freddy had to act quickly to get his attention. Uh, Derwood, Freddy called out. I'm an awful mess. Derwood turned around and swam over to his friend. The unhappy frog told him all about his unfortunate situation and how things had gone terribly wrong. Can you, can you help me? Asked a frustrated Fred. Hey, Nicky, how are you, buddy? Nick's on. Come in. Well, it'd be weird if I went, hey, Nicky, how you doing? Kevin's on. <laughs> Right? <laughs> well, being a duck and not a frog, Derwood wasn't sure what he could do. He swam around in circles to help himself think, and Freddy was getting dizzy again, just watching him. Yep, he's got a fly on his fly on his nose. You know what happened? He bought that fly, and he didn't have his credit card with him. He said, do you mind just putting it on my bill? <laughs> just on his, on his bill. What up, 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 what up. <laughs> Aha, said Derwood finally, winking at Freddy. This should do the trick. If you paddle powerfully using only your back feet, the water will push against your belly and force the gas bubbles up. Immensely satisfied with his answer, Derwood ruffled his feathers and continued on his way. Oh, couldn't hurt, thought Freddy. I'll do it. <laughs> the flies water skiing. <laughs> it's got a little boat. <laughs> ah, Barb laughed at that one. <laughs> he paddled furiously through the water, but being a frog and not a duck, Freddy lost his balance and wound up paddling upside down. The gas bubbles didn't budge. He still had the same problem, waterlogged with cramped feet. Freddy thought maybe... He'd have better luck on shore. <laughs> I like the art of this. Oh, he looks so uncomfortable. He's got his belly's like. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I do that sometimes. I fill my belly up so, like at Christmas, right? You made all that great food, and I uh, made all those bad choices, and I had a big belly full of pierogies and halapshi and and uh, turkey, and I was like, I can't move, I can't, help me, I can't move, I'm never eating, I'm walking through the kitchen, I'm never eating anything ever again. Ginger cookies, that's what happened. You guys, I always, always offer to make a lot less food, but he doesn't want less food. <laughs> no, I want left leftovers. That's what I want. I ate so much of my belly button, actually... I heard it. I know. Yeah. We're sitting here. Yep. Yeah. Goes the weasel. He heavily, he, sorry, he heaved his swollen body onto dry land and bumped right into Sinjin, whose snake eyes never looked particularly friendly. Though Sinjin seemed sinister, he was truly a misunderstood kind of a guy. When he saw the distress on Freddy's face, he said kindly, I can sense something amiss. Freddy was relieved to find yet another friend to listen to his tale of woe. Can you, can you help me? He pleaded. 
well, being a snake and not a frog, Sinjin thought and went into a trance to become very still in order to think. Suddenly, his forked tongue flicked in and out. His body began to quiver as he spoke with great excitement. It's a plan. It's very. It's a, it's a very plain to see. Simply slither on your belly like I do. If you slither on the ground hard enough, you'll be push those gas bubbles out. Those ghastly gas bubbles out. Sinjin uncoiled himself, gave Freddy a sly smile, and zigzagged away. I think the frog's kind of lucky that uh, the snake the snake's his buddy. Away. Yeah, I think the snake's his buddy. <laughs> oh, this just might work, thought Freddy. I'll try it. Hey, Bev, how are you? But being a frog and not a snake, Freddy was not a natural at slithering. Hmm. He twisted his body one way and then the other. This ugh, isn't ugh, that easy. Ouch, he complained. Sounds like me getting off the couch. <laughs> Freddy didn't get too far before he collapsed on his side. The only thing he had to show for all his effort was an irritating, hot, itchy rash on his belly. <laughs> it's so hot. Look at the, 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 the are flies are the flies are it? toasting stuff on his belly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. So uncomfortable. Freddy had almost given up hope of ever finding any relief from his infuriating gas bubbles. It was at that moment that he heard a familiar call of his pal Oliver. Oliver was a little flighty at times, but like all owls, he had an impressive reputation for being a clever fella. Freddy painfully inched his way over to the huge cottonwood tree where his brainy bird was perched. Oh, hello, Freddy, said Oliver. Narrowing his eyes as he gazed down on the frazzled frog. I rather expected to see you today. Word has it that you have a quite, um, the problem. Sobbing by now, Freddy pulled out, poured out his whole story. Please, Oliver, can you think of any way to get rid of these ugh, gas bubbles? Begged Freddy. Sometimes... Oliver can be very a little bit grumpy because he's owly. <laughs> owly. Who? 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 Oliver. Oliver. Oliver can be. <laughs> now, being a wise owl and definitely not a frog, Oliver was quick to offer a pr practical solution. He tilted his head, puffed his magnificent plumage. Who? said Owl. Hoot? said Freddy. Yes, Freddy, hoot. Make those hoots loud and long, and your stomach muscles will tighten and squeeze the gas bubbles out, out, out. I hope this works, mumbled Freddy. Nothing else has. Oliver chuckled. He knew exactly what would happen. Mikey Poolin, how are you, buddy? Freddy hooted with all the strength he had left. But after all, being a frog and not an owl, Freddy couldn't hoot. He could only croak. The harder he tried to hoot, the more he croaked. <coughs> to make things worse, he got the hiccups. The more he hiccuped, the more the muscles in his stomach tightened. Freddy hiccuped and hiccuped, and oh, those muscles squeezed tighter and tighter and tighter, and oh my... Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you too, buddy. Give Jess a big hug for us. Freddy's eyes grew bigger and bigger. His whole body shuddered. He thought he was going to explode, but he didn't. His mouth opened up wider and wider, and one by one, he finally burped those gas bubbles right out. Freddy watched his body shrink smaller and smaller until the last gas bubble was gone. Uh, oh. <coughs> Good job, Miss Christie. Thank you for the saying that. But every time we said, uh, he was saying, me, that's me, that's my name. Excuse me, by the way. 
<laughs> it was a miracle. He felt like a new frog. He leapt from lily pad to lily pad, swam and swam, and he played and he played and celebrated his good fortune. That is, until something happened, reminding him that he hadn't eaten in a while. Freddy's empty tummy grumbled and pinched. His thoughts turned back to his scrumptious flies. Freddy was hungry, ravishingly hungry. Ravishingly means uh, really, really hungry. There you go. No, ravenously. Oh. <laughs> ravishingly. Ravishingly hungry. Well, hello, I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Ravenously. And then. <laughs> oh, look at this. I missed this. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Ravenously hungry. Ravenhurstly hungry. And then... Uh-oh. <laughs> he saw... That's like later on when I wake up off the couch. Going, hey, you're never going to eat another. I feel like Joe... That's how I feel sometimes. I eat too much food. Yep. There you go. And then... That's it. So, yes. This this one here, where he does the burp 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 and the little toot. Yeah. It's in the reverse kind of order for Taz. He yeah. he does like a little burp and then burp, and then burp, like toot toot toot. <laughs> How do I sound again? Toot toot toot. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> I had a fart so long the other day, halfway through it, my bum went <gasps> and started again. Did you know that? <laughs> there you go. Yes, That's I a little, heard the walls gagging. A little gassy. A little gassy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little gassy in our house. <laughs> well, if you weren't such a good cook, I wouldn't be eating it. Uh, well, that brings us to the next book. How long have we been talking? Oh, we've been talking for a long time. Okay, we don't have time for a second book. Well, we got. Okay, here's a book I found. Uh, I don't know where we got it, and uh, it's Lisa. But it's by Lisa Petretti, and it's called Potty. There you go. <laughs> here's a very silly little book that we're gonna read right now. I have to go potty. TMI, Miss Christie. <laughs> That's ju it's just reality over here. Sorry. <laughs> That just says Taz means intelligence. No. I could go on my diaper. Oh, should, I, should I go on my diaper? I don't want to. What I don't want to. What does the kitty do? Nothing. That's what a cat does. It just sits there and attacks it. What does kitty do? Kitties go in their litter and that's they what go it says racing here. around the house. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with our cats. They go in the litter box and then like, mm, you hear them go, me, me, ow. They go in the litter box and you hear scratchy, 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 scratchy. And then you hear, come up the stairs, boop, 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 boop. And then you hear, <laughs> the other cat's like, I'm coming out here. What does the doggy do? Doggy do. <laughs> anyway. What does the doggy do? Oh. Oh, I really, I really have to go. We have to read that Colonel Potty book or whatever the one that we have. That one was pretty good. Oh, mm, uh, e, okay. This looks like Miss Christie. After every walk we go on, it doesn't matter if it's three, <laughs> three feet out of the house. This, yeah, yep. this is your, this is your, Do you want to go for a longer walk? <laughs> Should I go on my potty? She doesn't ask that. She just does it. I like to stay well hydrated. I could try. Oops. <laughs> Oops. He sits down. Oops. Bye-bye, diaper. Um, uh, gets a book. Comes back. Looks. Nothing. Look at that. that, that oh, nothing like that. This is for ages 0 to 3. Hey, and then Chris Walby popped up. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Chris? 
Waller, how are you, buddy? We're just reading the potty book. He's sitting on the potty. Can't nothing's happening. The dog's falling asleep. The cat's falling asleep, which is no big deal. Cats fall asleep all the time. <gasps> What's that? <laughs> tinkle, tinkle, toot! I did it! <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you, when we were kids, like, when you're teaching your kids to go potty, they're so happy to go potty. I did it. When was the last time you just walk out? Yeah! That doesn't happen anymore. I don't do Hooray! it. You do it all the time. <laughs> there you go. There we got two. We got two books in. Oh, now it's time for undies. Undies, undies. Now he's potty trained. He gets to have undies. These are awesome undies. I like the Superman ones. Some really cool undies on there. You see these cool undies? There you go. Wally, you, you, you picked a good time to pop on to see what I do here. Reading the, the Tassie reads. <laughs> well, he read the potty book. There wasn't a lot of words, but there were a whole bunch of pictures in there, so that's good for him. That's, uh, I'm happy for him and stuff like that. There you go, everybody. A little bit of silliness. Uh, uh, the potty book and Freddy's. Uh, what, what is that? Uh, what, what, is, what do we learn from those books? Uh, don't eat uh, 100 flies. Probably the uh, first thing. Uh, I don't even know if I want to eat one fly. I ate a, fly. I ate a grasshopper one time. Well, I was walking along, and I was talking. Do you ever notice when we when we go on the farm, we, we talk? I always just talk like this, so I don't have my mouth very much. That's because one time I was walking with my buddy Des, and uh, I'm walking along with him and his kids, and a grasshopper went into my mouth and all the way down my throat, and then that was uh, it. I know. I was like that. I was like, uh, 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 it was gross. And then we're sitting at the table, and I was all okay with it. And then Davina, who didn't say very much, she goes, do you think it's still alive in your tummy, just hanging out in there? I'm like, okay, well, that's all. <laughs> well, there you go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed uh, the second read of 2021, where we'll be reading from this uh, 7.30 every night. They're not tomorrow night. 7.30 every night. Not tomorrow night. Not tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's Sunday. I'm going to spend that. I think we'll do Sunday nights just for us, right? So that's where I say Miss Christie's uh, just about asleep, and I go, we need a puppy. And she goes, you're no puppies. Because right. you're in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> and then the house gets dark and it starts <laughs> lightning inside and stuff. But um, you know what? I'm, today was uh, date 290. So 290 days ago, I started reading to you. And, I'm, and somebody asked me today, Tommy Milroy had me on his show. And he said, are you going to stop it? I'm not going to stop. I'm going to read um, forever and ever as much as I can. And today was book uh, two, uh, 658 and 659. So... Um, I will see you Monday, Monday evening. So have yourself a great uh, night. If you miss one of these, remember, please, uh, please uh, remember that they're on YouTube under Tazzy Reads, uh, T-A-Z-Z-Y uh, Reads, R-E-A-Q-5-D-S or something. Not very good at that. And also, if you could share this video, that would make me very happy because um, I would like to get a lot more kids to be able to watch when they're able to. So thank you very much for that. Remember, in all that you say and all that you do, you never have to be perfect. You've just got to be you. I um, very uh, feel very blessed that you uh, tune in, and um, it makes me feel good. Me good to read makes me good feel feel good. <laughs> me good. I like it when my words just don't want to put in a line there. It makes me feel very awesome that you uh, tune in to watch me. So thank you. Um, and of course, the most important thing, uh, Justin just uh, wrote uh, good night, uh, Taz and Miss Christie. And ABK. ABK stands for always be kind. Because in a world where you get to choose anything you want to be, why not choose to be kind? Always be kind. Always be kind. I promise myself to try to always be kind. And I say try because we can't always be kind all the time. Sometimes our mouth works and our and our you know works and our and our actions work faster than our heart. So there you go. That's it. Good night, Facebook friends. Good night. Good night, Facebook friends. Good night. May your dreams be cheery and your dreams be bright. Good night, Facebook friends. Good night. Sleep tight, Facebook friends. Sleep tight. Sleep tight, Facebook friends. Sleep tight. May your dreams be so silly till the morning light. Good night, Facebook friends. Good night. Good night, Justin. Good night, Yaz. Lots of love from Miss Christy and I. And uh, thank you again, uh, Lesson and Shay Shailene, for lending me the book and the poop potty book. I don't know where it came from, but we're keeping it. And I'm going to get a puppy. Nope. I'm going to get a puppy. Nope. Yes, we are. Nope. She said, maybe.